This is our first ever street soccer summer camp. Um, it's in connection with the government's holiday activities and food programme. So it's, it's a big one for us as a foundation, as a charity, and it was really important that we brought it to Kent, our home county, to ultimately help the community. And what it basically is, it's a programme where we support children and families that are disadvantaged in some way. Um, maybe they're on food vouchers or on free school meals, um, but where they're, they're, they're working hard to make ends meet and we're stepping in to support them in that regard. So we've come in and we're now offering daily activities from 10 till 3 every single day throughout the whole month of August. In addition to that, providing food, lunch and refreshments every day for every child that appears. My kids have loved the summer camp. I mean, the past year and a half they've been stuck inside and it's been hard for them socially and it's been brilliant. They've made new friends and I've got children from the ages of 6 up to 15. Uh, I am a working mum, so um, I'm working from home at the moment and um, having my daughter home during the first couple of weeks in the holiday was a bit um, stressful for, for myself and for her as well because at work we have, we have less people at work now so because I haven't taken annual leave because of the pandemic. I've got children from the ages of 6 up to 15 and even my 15 year old, he's loved it. I never thought he'd actually enjoy it go into a group with his siblings at those different ages, but I mean, he's loved it. You know, he wants to do something like this. He didn't know what he wanted to do, and this has helped him as well with what he wants to do in the future. So not only has it helped him socially, but it's helped him figure out what he wants to do when he leaves school. She really enjoys it. She's told me about um, two new friends she's met. She liked the fact they're teaching her how to dance, so she's enjoying that as well. <laughs> We've got coaches, some of them are like 17, 18. They're qualified, they're DBS checked, everything else, but they're individuals that really want to just show what they've got about them, you know, and prove their ability to us as a foundation, as a charity. And we've created them opportunities for them, and they've been amazing. And some of the journeys they've been on, from like the very first session to where they are now, they've built their confidence, their character, their motivation, their ambition, their drive, all these sort of soft skills that we typically look to develop in young adults on our programmes. We've actually helped our coaches achieve the same as well. I've adapted and uh, it got used to dealing with so many kids because they can be hard work but you have to deal with them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been good. I've really enjoyed the summer camp and it has really helped me gain confidence and gain experience in working with children as well as multitasking and managing time and activities all at once and all together. So we've been playing football in the morning. Yeah, I like yeah. football. <laughs> doing races, doing dodgeball. Dodgeball? Yeah. Dodgeball, yeah, I yeah? like that one. You like dodgeball? Yeah. And football as well? What other activities? Oh, I just want to do netball. Netball? netball. Right netball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's why we're doing football now. Have you done dancing? Have you done dancing? Yeah, I have. You did, didn't you? But what's really been obvious throughout this period is the fact that it really, really does matter to the children and to the parents, the guardians, the care workers, everyone that's wrapped around and involved in this kind of you know, support and community that's, that's here on, on our doorstep. This is very good for my daughter because she gets to mix with other people as well. And we, at the game, when I come to pick her up or drop her off, I meet other parents as well. So it's a network for me. Secondly, we all know how important and very expensive childcare is. So this kind of program kind of helps everyone, including myself, I'm working. I don't think I could actually emphasise how important this is going to be for kids' mental health, for physical and for parents as well. It's, it's a lifeline. I mean, it's helping financially, mentally. I think it's, it definitely needs to carry on if it can because, I mean, my kids will be definitely coming back because it's amazing. Yeah.